is that a man named Jesus put some on my eyes. Waited to why I waited to her funeral to say this. Okay, but one, I didn't wait to know. I didn't wait till her funeral to say this because I been said something about this. Period. And if it did, it, it kind of do make it seem like I did wait to um. Hold on. It kind of do make it seem like I waited to her funeral to say this, but I didn't. I didn't try to make it seem like that. It just that when I was watching her, when I was watching her funeral, it brought it. This be on this be on my mind all the time. But when I watched her funeral, it brought it back to my attention. And it was just funny how he all on TV. He's a he's a phony, bro. But I did not wait for one long little cupcake, long little cupcake, cause that's not even my little girl. But whatever happened to her. That what happened to her has hurt me. Thank you, Molly. Real talk. Because people keep telling me something. Why you waited to... I can post whatever the fuck I want to post. And I can speak on whatever the fuck I want to speak on at any given time I want to speak on this shit. But anybody who know me personally, they know this they, they know this shit. Semi, all I talk about for real is when that shit happened to him. But I'm finna give y'all the whole rundown on my life. Okay. Back in 2016, okay, I, I got a false kid, 16, 2013. Okay, back in 2016, we stayed with the Wilsons in Lake Cyrus and Hoover. We stayed with them from um July to October. Okay, boom. Um, Okay, boom. So the little boy, which is his son, is Christopher Wilson, his youngest son. His name is Chris. I think that's his only son. His name is Christopher Wilson. All my life. Okay, so boom. The little boy used to just act weird as fuck. He used to pick on my little boy. He used to pick on my little boy. He used to call him cry baby, this and that, and all that shit. Okay. And, um, okay, before this shit happened to my little boy, I don't know if he would been doing it or whatever, but it was another little girl that stayed in the house with us. Um,. I'm not going to call her name, but it was another little girl who stayed in the house with us. Okay, so we went to Walmart one day. His mama left us in the car. She went in the store. And he uh got the little girl out of her car seat. And um he was like, can you put her pamper back on? Her pamper came off. And I'm like, how her He told her she took her pamper off. I'm like, how she took her pamper off? And um when I look back there, he, 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 had his head, he had her in his lap and he had his head down. Like he was giving her oral sex or something. I swear to God. Like he was giving her oral sex or something, but I ain't think I ain't think of it. Then when he when he seen his mama come come out of Walmart, he hit me with that. Uh, can you put her pamper back on? She took her pamper off. I said, how she took her pamper off? And I was like, no, I'm not gonna put it back. I'm like, you put it back on. So he ended up putting her back in the car seat or whatever. So um, that's how I figured out he was doing something. To her. That was just weird as fuck. How. You got this little girl in your um how you got this little girl in your lap with her pamper off and you down down there like this. So another time when I when I realized that he was that he kinda was doing something with my little boy because like he was because our room was connected semi. It was my room, then it was when you walk through my room, you walk through a bathroom, then you walk through his room. He used to try to come in there and get in the bed with us and shit. So one day I'm watching TV, so she he just coming up getting in bed with me. You know, I ain't with us. I ain't think nothing ever because, like, I love kids and you can come in there and chill with me or whatever, watch TV, whatever. Then he started getting on the cover. I'm looking like, uh uh, nah, what you doing? So, as he getting on the cover, I hear him fidgeting with my baby pamper. Like, he trying to get inside my baby pamper or something like that. So, I'm like, nah, I'm like, you gotta get out for one because it's weird that you in here trying to get up on the cover with us. And if your parents come here and, and think I'm doing something, you or we got something going on. And I'm 19 at the time. The boy 14. How old are you? I'm 22. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just getting to the point. I was, I was, um, I was 19. He was 14. My little boy was two. So another time, um, it was a, he went in the den. My little boy went in the den with him. My little boy came back. Okay, when my little boy went in the den with him, my little boy pamper was on right. It was on correctly. Then when he came back to me, his pamper was his pamper was semi off, like the little boy was semi trying to put it back on right. So I asked my little boy, he was two at the time. I said, uh, I said, I said, I said, did Chris um I said, is Chris playing with your pamper? 
He was like, yeah, Chris, um, he was playing with my pample. Like, he was going to like, his pample. Like, like I told y'all, one time he tried to come and get in the bed with us, and I hear him playing with my my little boy pample up on the cover. So I'm like, dude, what you doing? You need to get out. For one, because you ain't supposed to be up on the cover with us. So, okay, this how I got out. This boom, this how I got out to DHR. But I asked my little boy, and my little boy was two at the time. He had plans, so my little boy was smart. Anybody know my little boy? He advanced, so I knew he wasn't lying. And I, um, we both was in DHR custody. I had my baby in DHR custody, and we was never separated. Every house I went to, he went to. We was never separated. I got into DHR custody in 2013. I had my baby in 2014. And everywhere I went, he went. We was never separated because I was not going to let that happen. Because I was a young parent, that doesn't mean that I wasn't a good parent. So I never let them separate us because I wanted my child. But how I ended up getting to DHR was because I worked at KFC at the time in Norwood. I swear to God, man. Boy, I'm going to tell y'all this shit, man. Y'all going to be like, what the fuck? Hold on. Let me get my baby. Make sure she's straight. Excuse me in my breast. I'm sorry, y'all. Sit down. Sit down there. So, I, I'm trying not to mention no name because, yes, I was in DHR custody as well, me and my son. So, I, I'm not going to mention no names because I don't want, besides the people, the suspects, because I don't want it to be no type of conversation with nobody else because I'm mentioning their name. But I worked at, um, I worked at KLC in Norwood, and my GM was actually a friend of the people who I stayed with, and she actually went to their church. Okay. Uh, she uh actually went to the church New Beginning in Kingston when they had a, when they had the church in New Be at New Beginning Kingston. My um my um GM actually was friends with them, and she went and she went to um she went to that church. Okay, so how it came about um the mom the mama Tanya Wilson she owned a daycare on First Avenue, which is New Beginning. Um, I used to sit in there every morning because also my GM, um, daughter went to the daycare. So I used to sit in there every morning, um, and wait on my GM to drop her, um, daughter off so I can ride with her to work. Lisa, um, I ain't just not saying nothing. And I've been talking about this. Anybody who know me knowing I've been saying something about this. So, no, I ain't been saying this. And when I seen her preaching on at the little girl, friend was today, it kind of made me mad. But I ain't bring it up because that I brought it up because it brought it came back to my attention. I ain't try to bring it up on this baby funeral because this ain't about me. This is cupcake day. And I'm not trying to make this about me because at the end of the day, I can always tell my story. But I've been telling my story. Oh, okay. Um, Sandra Nelson. Okay. But, um... But yeah, I ain't just saying it's because of the little girlfriend. Okay, back to what I was saying. Okay, so one day me and my GM. So do you currently have an open case? I'm finna get to that. So, so um, and I and I had I want I wanted my case to be closed with the HR before I really really had spoke on this. Before I really really had spoke on this. Okay, so me and my GM was in the car talking. And I do, I definitely got receipts. On my life, I got receipts. Oh, I definitely got receipts. I got an old phone now that got messages in it. Okay, okay. Yeah, you right with these comments. But, okay. Me and my GM, we was talking in the car. Okay, so. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. So, me and my GM, we was talking in the car. And I had mentioned to her. I had mentioned to her what happened. I had mentioned to what happened, and she was like, she, she was to call me Sean, she, even though she was friends with these folks and went to their church. And she, even though she was friends with these folks and went to their church, okay. I told her, she was like she was calling me Sean. She was like Sean, you know how you know how I'm gonna have to report this right because these are kids. She was like, girl, stop! You pulling my shirt down. She was like, Sean, okay, I'm sorry, y'all. She was like, Sean, you know I have to report these because these are kids. And I was like, I was like, and I was, no, the person didn't do it. His son did it, which is, which is his youngest son, Christopher Wilson. I was like, um, I was like, do what you got to do. I was like, but I don't blame you. I'm going to have to call DHR um, secret hotline. And she told me she called them. She told me she called them. 
So the same day after my um after they ca- came and got me Tony Wilson and, Qu- and um Sylvester Wilson, which was my foster parents at the time, when they came and got me from work, when they came and got me from work, um, they was like, "What is this that you saying, Chris? Um, was supposed to be in a touch on DeAndre and, and the little girl. I can't say I ain't gonna say the little girl name. Was supposed to be in a touch on DeAndre and the and um the little girl. I was like, he did. I was like, I was like, um." I was like, he did. And I said, I know for, and I said, I know for a fact he did. I was like, no, they ain't say. Let me stop. They ain't say why you telling them that he touched on the little girl. That was like, why you telling whoever he, the, the lady? I can't mention her name. They was like, what is it you telling such and such that Chris was been touching on DeAndre? I said he was, and I said he touched on so and so, which is the little girl too. Then they was like, they was like, nah, uh, uh-uh. uh. They was like, because if you wanted them, they thought I, they thought I made up a lot because I wanted to move. Because it was this lady, um, it was this lady. Okay, I'm finna swipe the comments. Because it was this lady who I stayed with in lecture. I had wanted to go back and stay with her, but they thought I made this story up so I can move. But to be honest, I was getting tired of getting placed from home to home. So if I was, if I was tired of moving. Even though I did want to move and go with this lady who I who I had recently stayed with, but if I was tired of moving, why would I go and tell y'all that this happened when I know they finna get ready to move? Because at the time, the lady who I wanted to stay with, that's the only person I wanted to, to move. If they wasn't gonna move me with her, I didn't want to move. But why would I go and lie and tell y'all that this happened when I know that y'all finna get ready to move me and I'm tired of moving from home to home? So when they came and got me from work, they was like, what is this you supposed to been telling her that he did this to De- um, DeAndre? I said, he did do this to him. Then as soon as we got to the house, I had to pack all my stuff because they had to remove me and my child from the house. But they didn't have to remove, DHR wasn't trying to remove me and my child from the house. They basically removed us from the house because the, they said they didn't, the, the parents said they didn't want me there no more because they felt like I was lying. So... The little boy was not there because he had a football game, but I wish he was there so, that, so they could have asked him and seen and questioned him, and I wanted to see what he was going to lie. Because they knew that they knew their son was a liar because they always asked him why he lying. So when I told DHR, I, I told them, I said, get a little boy a lot of detective test. So the lady who I had on my case at the time, she told me, so we can't, um, she said, we can't put a can on a 14-year-old. Yes, y'all can, and y'all can um, close these folks' house down. They did not close their house down. The little girl, I told them that he could possibly have done something to her. They they kept her, and her they kept them in that little girl in the house with them for the next two years. When they try to do an investigation or something like this, they did not pop proper procedures. When they do this, they supposed to remove all kids from the house. They supposed to shut down these people's house and they supposed to investigate it. But they did not investigate. They swept it up under the rug. And the lady who I had on my case, another lady who I had on my case, I asked her what was going on. She said. They believe you lying. That's why they not. That's why they not doing nothing about it. Cause they think you're lying. What I got? I'm 19 years old and this boy 14. What I'm finna lie on a child for? And what I'm finna lie about something that big anyway? I'm not finna lie about nothing like that. Cause I got molested when I was a child. I got molested from a father and a son. I'm not finna lie about no no molestation when it comes to no children. Especially a child. That boy 14. I'm 19. That's a child. And you ain't finna lie on no child. So. At the time, my child, he had his own attorney. I had my own attorney. I told my attorney, and my attorney going to tell me the little boy could be a victim himself. Well, this little boy a victim, and somebody did something to him, y'all need to find out why he touching on kids. Because if he a victim, y'all need to find out why he a victim. But that's nothing to say to me. You need to, you need to be trying to help me as my GM. There was a court, a part, a court, a, a whatever, from, from family court. You was hired through family court to represent me. So when I told my GM... One thing about it ain't true. It ain't true. It ain't true. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. But, it's but check this out. It's okay, it ass 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 baby. You know it ain't true. Everybody. I got plenty niggas for you. I got plenty niggas for you. I ain't finna argue with your big ass, your ugly ass, your gay ass. Uh, you ugly. Well, look how you look at your ugly ass. You gonna drop it? Get your ugly ass on. Get your ugly ass on. You gonna get your ugly ass on. You gonna drop it? You gonna drop it? You probably fucked your brother. That's probably why he like that. The fuck. You gonna drop your location? You gonna drop your location? And if I do, on my mom, you ain't gonna make it out of here. I swear to God. You gonna drop your location? But I'm not gonna do that because what I'm gonna. Why you ain't gonna? Oh, 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 no! I don't wanna hear that. I don't wanna hear that because you on Facebook. No, because look, you on Facebook Live. No, baby, you on Facebook Live doing all this shit. You on Facebook Live doing all this. Drop your location. Drop your location. Drop your location. It's a blue. Drop your location. 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 Drop your location.
Let's go. Drop your location. Drop your location. Let me talk your shit. You gonna drop your location? Talk your shit. You gonna drop your location? I can get. Hey, look. I can get less about all this going back and forth. You gonna drop your location? You gonna drop your location? I don't live in Lake Cyrus. I got my own place. You gonna drop your location? You gonna drop your location? I know damn well you ain't gonna pull up. I know damn well you ain't gonna pull up. So drop your location. That's why. Me and you First of all, first of all, bitch, my sister ain't there. Okay, so Okay, so why you ain't taking your sister? Oh, hold on, hold on. You got some real killers and real stuff behind her. to him how were your eyes open there again here come they they said how were your eyes open but I like the way the man answered watch how the man answered he said when he when they asked him that he said I do not know all I know is is that a man named Jesus put something on my eyes told me to go wash I did what he said.